Okay, you ready to read? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you want to read the title? Yes, ma'am. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Discovering the awesomest daddy ever. Okay, Who's you ready to turn the pages? Yes, ma'am. Okay, here we go. Who's your daddy? I love the way she drew you, because that little girl is punkin' cute like you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want to read the dedication? It says, to my dear gruff daddy, Everett Andrew Harper, who didn't get to meet Missy, that's you, before he died, but tenderly asked, when is our girl coming home? Right before slipping into the arms of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Remember, my daddy asked about you. That was one of the last things he asked before he went to heaven. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Hi, my name is Missy, but sometimes my mom calls me Toots, Pumpkin, Peanut, or Squirty McTurdy. I'm adopted, I like to swim, and I love cheese sticks. For as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Mommy and Cookie the Wonder Dog living at our house. I always thought our family was perfect until one day in kindergarten, George asked me a question. I'm gonna turn pages, I've been doing it, instead of letting you do it. Who's your daddy? Do you remember when George asked you that question? Yes. I love your face there. Cause that's, looks, make that face. <laughs> I love it when you make that face. George asked, who's your daddy? I thought about it a minute and said, I don't have one. But George made a scrunchy face and tilted his head to one side like he was confused. But I thought everybody has a daddy who plays soccer with you and drives you to school and makes pancakes for you. <clears throat> then the teacher told us to stop talking, so I just put my head down and started coloring. Remember that? Yes, ma'am. That afternoon, when Mommy picked me up from school, I told her about George's question. She put her chin in her hand. You know, we both do that a lot. She put her chin in her hand, which is what she does when she's thinking real hard, and drove us to the park near my school. When we reached the pond, she turned around and said, come here, baby, and let me sit in her lap. After she played with my hair for a few minutes, which makes me feel happy and safe and sleepy all at the same time, she said, honey, you actually do have a daddy and his name is Daddy God. He knew you before you were born and he loves you more than all the stars in the sky. I thought about that on the way to the grocery store. Then I asked mommy, so this is your voice, if God is my daddy, how come he doesn't drive me to school or teach me to play soccer or make pancakes like George's daddy? She responded, well, sweetie, Daddy God is invisible. So we can't see him the way we can see human daddies with skin on. And even though Daddy God doesn't drive a car, coach soccer, or make pancakes, he did create the whole wide world. And he is always with you and he will never, ever leave you and will never, ever stop loving you. When we got to the grocery store, I had lots of questions. Is God everyone's daddy? I asked while we put mangoes, my most favorite fruit ever, in our cart. Yes, she answered, but some people don't know he's their heavenly father yet. So kids who have skin daddies get daddy God too, I asked. Yes, they do, mommy said with a smile. But if they already have a skin daddy, why do they need God to be their daddy? I wondered out loud while skipping down the aisle. I love the way they put pictures of you running down the aisles in the grocery store, don't you? Mm -hmm. It's cute, you do that. Even though skin daddies are wonderful toots, they aren't perfect like Daddy God. Remember how I was impatient with you the other night and apologized for raising my voice? Well, skin mommies and daddies make mistakes sometimes. Plus, see that daddy right over there? He's a soldier. And sometimes soldiers have to go far, far away to work and don't get to come home for a long, long time. I thought and thought about skin daddies and daddy God on the way home. It was definitely going to take a while to figure this whole dad thing out. By the time we got home, I had another question. Mommy, do skin daddies who go away always come back? 
I could tell it was what Mommy calls a whopper of a question because she tilted her head to the side just like George had when I told him I didn't have a daddy. Then she stopped putting away the groceries and said, come here, pumpkin, and led me to the swing on our front porch. We swung back and forth for a few minutes and watched a rabbit scamper across the yard before Mommy replied softly, sweetheart, some skin daddies don't come back home to their kids and some skin mommies don't get to either. She reminded me of how my first mommy, Mama Marie, loved me with her whole heart, but got super sick in Haiti and had to leave me when she went to heaven. We talked about how Mama Marie's death makes me sad, and then we talked about another really sad thing called divorce. Mommy told me divorce is when husbands and wives grow hurt sticks on their hearts and stop living together because they keep poking each other. When I said that it was definitely going to take a while to figure out why death and divorce make us so sad, she chuckled and said, oh baby, you don't have to figure it all out now. That picture you drew of Mama Marie, I love that picture. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm, yes, ma'am. When you're sad, just scoot as close as you can to Daddy God and tell him everything that's on your heart. Then she wrapped her skin arms around me and said to imagine Daddy God's great big arms around both of us. And pretty soon I didn't feel sad at all anymore. We kept swinging until the sun turned pinkish purple, my most favorite color, and slid behind the hill. Then Mommy whispered, at school tomorrow, you might want to tell Curious George that he actually has two daddies, one with skin on, and one who's invisible, yet perfect. Which is exactly what I did the next day. Well, actually, I told my whole class about Daddy God, the awesomest daddy ever, because when you figure out something this good, you just can't keep it to yourself. 